Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Firstly, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. I reached 20, 29, 29 thousand subscribers the other night and honestly couldn't believe it i was like okay that one came around quite quick so i need to start getting ready for my thirty thousand subscriber giveaway in this video i mentioned in the last one i was going to get myself some brand new vista coaty this is their brand new top coat suitable for super shallow pores and top coat in your pieces so i did mention i was going to top coat a tray but honestly how boring would that be to just sit and watch me top coat a tray I thought I would get a little bit um, ambitious and try something I've never tried before and that is to make a clock. Killing two birds with one stone if you like. I'm using this resin for the first time and I'm also part of a clock challenge run by Hugh over at Wooden, Wouldn't It Be Nice. It's a huge collaboration all making clocks in the month of February alongside Hugh. So I'm going to link Hugh's channel down below and um, yeah, you can check out anyone else who's gone and made a clock. So it's wood turners, crafters, makers, you name it. It can be made out of anything. Of course, I wanted to get involved and I'm doing a resin one. Surprise, surprise. So anyway, we've got my Vista Coty. So I've got my boards. These are um, plain wooden boards from Turner's Retreat. They've got like a little crafty section where I just bought 10, 10 of these wooden boards. I've already painted it black with my De La Rowney because I do want it black and of course it's wood so I'm sealing that wood in at the same time so that's my board I've got my clock mechanism here um, which is a quartz clock movement and it's from Amazon I think I might spray paint the um, the arms because they are black and they won't be seen so I'm hoping if it works I'm going to spray paint those and also brand new honestly I'm never going to be rich I bought some floating pigment powder from Just For You Online. I saw this on their page, needed it. I'm not very good with metallics, so my metallic powders and inks, I don't know. They just don't come through for me. I don't know if I'm using them wrong. But when I saw this, this is floating pigment powder. So according to the videos I've watched... <laughs> It doesn't get lost it doesn't just disappear out of sight so hopefully I bought the whole range honestly I'm not gonna eat for two days but it's okay who needs food right how gorgeous are they so I'm doing a lot of new things here today so I've got my brand new resin I'm making a clock for the first time and I'm using these powders for the first time inspired fully by a video I watched on just for you online's um, social media platforms this I had a clear picture in my head I knew exactly I could see the finished product and uh, it did absolutely not look anything like what I was expecting it to look like in fact it got to the point where I just could not stop adding more and more and more having never tried this kind of free flow no rules kind of resin I did one about two years ago but it was completely different adding crystals and very oceany but this one for me was new and I absolutely loved it after about 20 minutes it took me about 20 minutes to relax and just go with the flow part of me wishes i stopped 
and then my brain is saying add more Claire add more so I did and uh, <laughs> there were elements of it where I loved it and then parts where I just wanted to take it away maybe do something extra and it was at this point where I just suddenly thought do you know what just you're playing with all of this stuff for the first time just go with it try new little things see what works and I am so happy I did you will see a lot of spill off on this video but all of that spill off is the most beautiful spill off ever and it will be used I just wanted you to know that So after spending about 40 minutes on the first one and realizing that I kind of got it now, I could, I, I knew how the resin moved, I knew how the pigments worked, I thought I'd go again and make another one, aiming for a minimal, so the one that was in my head originally, aiming for that minimalistic look. And honestly, right now, looking at it right here, I wish I left it here, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I couldn't. I ended up adding a little bit more of that bronze. And this one here did not take more than 10 minutes, but what you do see is me pouring quite a bit off. I just wasn't happy because I added that bronze. So I do pour some off and then about four minutes later, I walk away. I actually walked away and I thought that is it. Less is more. Let's see how this works out. This resin, I have to say, this coatie was a dream to work with. Um, usually when I do my oceans, I always end up either not singeing the resin, but it dries out. So under the heat gun, um, it, it doesn't allow that movement. The past resins I've used haven't got this real flowy movement like you can see right here. This resin was forgiving. It, it, it did not at any point... Um, dry up or burn on me so I was really really happy that I had so much time and flexibility to move things around this right here this is where I thought that is it that is it Claire a little bit of the copper and you're done do not add any more and yeah I am so happy that I was able to walk away
And there it is, the finished clock. Oh my goodness, I hope you love it as much as me. Totally out of my comfort zone, but honestly, when I got into it, oh, I really got into it. I loved every second of creating this one. Hugh, thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of your clock challenge. Honestly, the only rule that Hugh stipulated was that the clock had to work. So does my clock work? Of course my clock doesn't work. <laughs> Why would it work? The clock mechanism was not long enough and I do need to buy a new one. But Hugh, please don't kick me out of the challenge because, you know, like it would just bring back traumatic memories of a sports day at school. So I'm just saying to everyone else, I hope you absolutely loved it. The resin could not fault it. It was a dream to work with. Again, not sponsored. I'm not getting paid. I just love it. It was just so lovely. You could see the way it was moving around. It had so much movement and flow and it didn't burn out on me, which I was worried about. But I loved it, absolutely loved it. The pigment just speaks for itself. Look at that. It does exactly what it says on the tin and it floats. It didn't muddy, it didn't get lost. So yeah, fully recommend. And I hope you've loved this one as much as I have. If you've stayed to the end, massive thank you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.